you uh, say that acronym. Yeah, so let's finally get some tetraminos on the page. So let's create a new file, call that tetramino. Uh, .js. Yes, so let's define it. So define function like that. Well, tetramino class.extend return tetramino. Yeah, uh, N-O. N-O, yeah, so that's cool. So, uh, the constructor of the tetramino, take an ID of which type it should be. So, and we just uh, create this shape object. So we say this are shapes, a new array like that. Then we create a rotation, that we to zero. So we just have all of the different rotations and store that in the shapes array. And then uh, the rotation here will uh, have which index it should return when we like draw the tetramino and all the stuff like that. Anyway, and then we say this dot id equals id to uppercase, just so we can use both lower and uh, lower letters. Uh, lower letters. What to say? Yeah, small and the big letters. <laughs> anyway, and then we said uh, the exposition. I can set that to the x and the y position to y right here. And now we say x and y as well as to uh, sum them to the function and then we can set them to zero by default here. So that should be it. So let's create this inner shape object that will be equal to the shape definition of this dot id. And what, if you wonder what the shape definition is, we haven't created it yet, but it will be up here. So save our shape definitions. And that will be equal to everything like this. So here we have the, all the different pieces. We have the uh, L piece, the I piece, let's say the T piece, the S piece, the Z piece, the O piece, and the J piece. So all of those will be equal to uh, a bit string. So, with all with zeros for now. So then, for example, if we want to define, uh, so you can think of those as uh, as if they were together like this. I can I could show you here. Mm, you can think of them as if they were like this. So if you let's say that we want to define the L piece. Then we just put an uh, ones here and then three ones here to get the uh, uh, L piece. And then we re uh, rotate that uh, four times to get all of the different orientations of that piece. And that's what that's what we want to do here in the in the shape definitions. Anyway, so in here uh, we just want to loop through all the shape definitions to see four bar uh, S maybe in. Uh, or SD in uh, shape def. Then we want to set that shape def at that point equal to the shape def at that point. But we want to replace all of the sp uh, blank spaces. So just put in this uh, regular expression here. And you don't really need to know what that means. But that will just remove all the spaces in the string. Anyway, so here we got the shape. Then we create this uh, uh, object S here to uh, like store the current shape. And then we create how wide this uh, shape should be. So we say, so for example, the eyepiece and uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, four uh, four long. So it should actually have more places like this. And I can actually do the eyepiece. That's really simple. That's just one row with the uh, ones. So to get uh, how wide and how tall that piece is, we just take the square root of the length of the bit string or of the string uh, in the shape definition. So we say so mat.square root square root <laughs> square root <laughs> of the shape the length. Then we just loop through all the 
in, uh, in the text or all of the shape definitions. So say for i equals zero, i is less than n, i plus plus. For the j equals zero, j is less than n, j plus plus. Here we also say s at i equals to an empty array, like that. And then we say s at i at j is equal to the past integer from the shape um, from the shape at uh, i. Let's see here. I no j plus i times n. That should be it. Yeah. And then we just want to push that shape uh, to the to the shapes array. Anyway, so then we want to uh, make all of the different rotations of the uh, of the shape. So we say for var r equals to three because we want to do three rotations. Then we also want to create this t object here. So we say while this dot id is not equal to uh, o because the o piece we want to rotate that piece, and r minus minus is greater or equal to zero, uh, like that. See, yes, um, that's cool. So then we also want to rotate it. Uh, we can. This should probably be in the other direction. I let's see. Yeah, I don't know what I did there. Oh wait, no. Let's keep it as as it is. Sorry, this is right. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. Anyway, and the rotation code, it's a bit difficult. Uh, I looked that up on the internet before I did this video, but anyway, we just want to create this T to the to an empty array like this again. Then we want to loop uh, all the through all the indexes again. So we say I plus plus like that. Uh, T at I equals an empty array like that. For well, J equals zero. J is less than n, j plus plus. Uh, t at i at j is equal to s at n minus j minus 1 at i. And that will rotate the piece for us. Now we just want to copy the, the current uh, the rotated value and store that in s. So we can rotate it again. And then we will push. Uh, that shape to the shapes array. Anyway, so that's it for the construction of the tetramino. So let's see, uh, we can create a function just so we can uh, print it in the console for now, so we can say to string actually. And once again, we just want to loop uh, through the array, so we say, uh, yeah. Can say the L length uh, is just uh, ah no. Let's just loop through all the things here. Let's create a string of ones for return here. Here we we'll say for var i equals zero. I is less than shapes. Uh, this shapes of length i plus plus for var j equals zero, j is less than this dot shapes at i dot length, I, uh, j plus plus. And then we want, uh, here we just want to add space to the thing. Oh, I see. We need to have uh, three loops because, yeah, the shapes have all different rotations for us. And, uh, yeah, so we loop through once and then we want to add for each. Uh, once we add, we want to add a new row, yeah. And then do we want to loop through all the. with k here as well. So we say, well, k, k <laughs> is less than this shapes at i. Uh, j a length k plus plus 
I can actually say uh, well s here is equal to this shapes at i and then change this to s yes now you can say uh, so the string is plus equals uh, s at j k uh, question mark because it's either one or zero so if it's a one then we want to add for example yeah the hash symbol else we want to add a dot like that and then for each row we just want to add a new uh, row again so let's see like that I think that should be it uh, yeah so let's see if it work <coughs> So let's um, go back to the Tetris game and let's just import it. So we say uh, source Tetris, uh, Tetramino, Tetramino, yes. And uh, we add it here as well, tet, Tetramino. Well, tet equal new Tetramino. And let's create the LPs for now then because we have created that shape definition. Yeah, so no errors, so let's log it out, console log. Uh, this uh, we have misspelled, so let's see. Which row? Line 64. 64 is here. This, yeah. So you can see how the different rotations of the pieces have L. It looks like this, therefore different rotations. And uh, we probably just want to, let's do it like this instead, so let's see. Yeah, now it's right. Now we just have uh, four different orientations. So let's see, if we can uh, test the eyepiece as well. We have created that definition. Yeah, so you can see the four different uh, rotations of that course and then let's say that we add O and you can see that we don't get any rotation because yeah we don't want to rotate the O piece anyway let's create the rest of the shape definitions so instead of having them on uh, separated rows we just want to add them in line here so the T piece is uh, just uh, like this it's really simple then we have the S piece that's just to C and to C, uh, to one C, and that's, this is the S piece. The Z piece is the opposite direction, that, like that, and then the O piece is just two ones here and here, and then the J piece is like that, but we'll actually have the rotation in this direction. Not that it matters that, that, that much, but yeah, I think that looks better more intuitive in the code uh, later on so yeah uh, let's actually add on the tetramino here uh, the different uh, IDs here so we can say uh, like this hmm how should we do this Yeah, let's do it uh, like this. Uh, var IDs equals to an empty array, like that. And then say IDs dot push the shape, uh, the, the name of the shape definition. Then we just loop through all the shape, uh, IDs here, down here. So we say for var i equals zero, i is less than IDs, i plus plus. Then tetramino of the IDS at i is equal to the IDS at i. Just to make it a bit more easy for us, so then we can add, for example, new tetramino, tetramino.o, and that should be the exact same thing. Yeah, here you can see the O piece. Let's uh, see the SPs, for example. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. 
yeah, but here you can see the different rotation of the SPs and all the stuff like that. So that means that it works. So that's cool. So now when we have done all of this, let's make it possible for us to uh, like add the the piece to the to the game. So let's see how we can go back to the. I don't know what happened there. Uh, go back to the game board to like make, create a draw function for the for the tetramino, so also that we can draw the tetramino to the screen using the sort of that block property uh, that we added here in the constructor. But before we do that, so we will need to have a way to store the data of the game. So we create a new file, a new module or whatever called block. Uh, yeah, so let's define it. So define function again here. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of uh, writing this uh, string of code, but anyway. Anyway, so the constructor of the block it will take an ID like that. Then we just want to call the t uh, its own function here that we call set type. It will take an ID or it will be equal to none here. And then we want to set the type. Uh, what do you say? The set type for her functions work like this. So we take an ID, and here we say this dot ID is equal to the type of ID. If it's a number, then we want to uh, make it equal to the ID. Also, we want to make it equal to the draw IDs of the ID dot to uppercase, like that. And then we want to say this dot solid. Uh, if the block is solid, then we want to say if this is the ID is not equal to the draw IDs dot none. Anyway, so let's create the draw IDs. We say var draw IDs. And we have none. We can set that equal to zero. It doesn't really matter. And then the order uh, that we want to specify here is. Uh, uh, important uh, for this order here. So for example we want IPs to have the ID of 1 because we want it to have the sign color and then for example the what do you say the Z piece we want to have that be equal to the ID of 2 and uh, then the this sign or blue colored we want that to be the J piece and so on and so forth. Anyway, so let me just add those in real quick. That is not that fun to watch, so I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, so I just added the IDs here, as you can see, and I saw that I forgot to add this should be a function call, so just add a parentheses there as well. Then I added, so we copy all of the IDs to the block object as well. Anyway, so that's it for the, uh, for the block uh, file here. Anyway, so let's include that as well in the Tetris and to make it a bit more easy to see what we have included and also like that, let's just create it like this instead. We can do it. Yeah, this should be good. Anyway, so I added block as well here. Uh, so let's see, like that. And then we'll need uh, to have a way to store all of the different blocks. And to do that, we will create a block control. So we can say this dot block control. That should be equal to an empty array like that. And then down here we want to just call this dot reset. So the reset function. Oops, Daisy. Just look where it looks like this. And inside of here, we just want to. Uh, uh, populate uh, block control. So we say, but for we want we want to empty it first, and then we we'll say for var i is equal to zero, i is less than this dot columns i plus plus for var i equals zero. Uh, sorry, j is equal to zero. J is less than this dot rows j plus plus. 
this set here was on say this block controls at i is equal to an empty array and this dot block control i j is equal to mm, a new block like there right there so we have now populated all of the block control with the empty blocks so let's see if it works uh, so you know for it to do that we'll uh, need to like draw the block to the screen but we also need this block and the rows of uh, object so let's add that as parameters to the tetris function so let's just say this of calls equal to the column uh, augment and this rows equal to the rows augment there and let's count here so it's actually 10 10 rows wide and 22 uh, squares tall so let's add that to the thing in the main here so let's see 10 by 22 and if we reload uh, we got an error so block 29 let's see mm, yeah sorry ID there <laughs> yeah it works so let's uh, draw it so we can go to the back to the Tetris and then we just want to loop through all the uh, block controls again so we can say like this and uh, but we don't want to clear it so here we just say if this dot block control or we can say actually bar b equals this dot block control i uh, j like that and then we say if the block is solid so like that we added that right yeah see so if it's solid then we just want to draw it to the game board so we say this dot game board dot draw uh, block and we want to draw the to the context of course and we want to draw it uh, uh, draw the block yeah and we want to draw it at the uh, i and j position like that so let's create this uh, method on the game board can do it down here that took a context a block and then an x and a y position anyway so we just want to set the id equal to the block dot id like that and then we just want to uh, to the x position we want to add some constant here let's say 100 for now this constant of course wrong but then uh, also, and then we do we want to uh, to the x here times the width of each of the blocks. Let's just uh, say 10 for now. We can figure out these constants later. And the same goes for the y position here. So let's see, 100 y times 10, something like that. And then we just want to say context of draw image. This dot. Let's see here. This dot blocks. Yes. Uh, let's have this in uh, constants instead uh, so we can say width okay, or we can say size actually yeah so let's see here size let's say 12 uh, so flat so we say id for x position that is id times the size uh, and for the height that's just the size oh sorry that's zero and then for the width and height that is the size so this is the where uh, which um, pixels from the from this image we should grab so that's just equal to that then on which position so that should be something like this anyway so if we load the page it should work yeah just fine but you can see we I don't see any blocks because all of the blocks we have added has been empty so let's add some uh, yeah let's uh, say that we add the eyepiece to everything well s still something that isn't really working here so let's see here let's just log out test message to see if it works console log uh, T 
Tetris 945. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> why can't I spell this right? Yeah, it's, it really is working here. Hmm. Wonder what's wrong here. I just debug that, guys. Be right back. Yeah, I figured out the error. This should, of course, be <laughs> cap our uh, big uh, uppercase. Yeah, so you can see that it actually all drawn to the canvas. But 12 seems to be wrong here, while 13 seems to be a bit too small. So I actually did some testing before here, as I said. So the size is actually 12, but they are just 12 pixels apart. Oh, oh sorry. The size are actually 13, but they are just uh, 12 blocks apart, so it should be 12 there and then 13 there. So that should be... Oh! What is wrong now? Hmm. Yeah, this should also be 12 there. Yeah. Anyway, let's just hold code it in. Who cares? Yeah, now it's working, and now we just need to figure out the position. So let's see, 170 maybe. Well, a bit more. Let's say 80 then. Yeah, that seems good. And then for the Y position, that's probably something small, like 5 or something like that. Oh, once less. Yeah, 4. Okay, so that's cool. So now I'm working way to uh, draw the blocks to the screen. But we just want to draw the... Uh, what do you say? Uh, the, the piece that we have set to the, the thing, so let's do that. Uh, so to do that we can create this uh, method that we call on the Tetramino actually that we call uh, uh, set two. So let's go to the Tetramino and below the two uh, above the two string maybe. Uh, so we can say set two function and then we will take a block control. So we can say control uh, like that. And then we can say an idea here as well because we will want to clear the shapes uh, and stuff as well. Anyway, so we're here we will say Let's set the ID is equal to the, if it's null, then we won't set it to, uh, or if it's uh, not equal to null, then we won't set it to the uh, ID, also we won't set it to the ID of the tetramino itself. Then we create the shape, so we say, uh, these are shapes that this dot rotation, like that, to get the right version of this uh, shape we want to set. Then we just loop through all of the, uh, yeah, to all of the, what do you say? Uh, yeah, through the shape definition. So I plus plus here for var j equals zero, j is less than shape dot length, uh, j plus plus right there. And then here is one say if the shape at I and at j. So as, as you remember, this can either be one or zero. So if it's a one, then we just want to set the control. Uh, that is this uh, x plus i, this the uh, y plus y, uh, plus j, sorry. Uh, we want to set that type uh, to the id. Right there. So let's see, we can recreate this tetramino right here. But let's move it uh, in the reset function for now. Then we'll say ted.set to uh, this dot block control. And hopefully now we should see the tetramino in the upper right hand corner. And that was the wrong orientation here, so let's see if it's like that instead. 
Yeah, so that's the right place there. And we can just uh, sort of change the position of the tetrabino. So you say ted.x, set that equal to three maybe, because that's where we want the piece to start. So that's cool. Let's try with some other pieces as well. The I piece, the Z piece, and other stuff like that. Awesome. So now you just want to make the piece fall down. So that's simple enough, but we'll need for that we'll need a check function on Tetramino as well. So the check function, it's a bit more complicated than the set to function, but it's a set, sort of the same principle here. So it will take a control uh, as an, uh, what do you say, as an augment, then a, a difference in the x direction, a difference in the y direction, and a difference in the rotation. So how we want to change this block. So, and then, then we will return a Boolean value if it can change to that location. And if it can, then we just want to update the, uh, what do you say, update the block else we want to, uh, yeah, prevent uh, that from happening or like create a new block and all stuff like that. Anyway, so we can just say uh, the dx should be equal to the dx or zero dy should be equal to dy or zero as well. dr should be equal to the dr. If it exists, then we want to get the rotation, say this dot get rotation. Rotation at dr, else we want to say this dot rotation, like that. So let's just make that uh, function real quick. And that's simple enough. That is just, uh, let's say, uh, let's say set r equal to rotation and l equal to the length of the shape definitions. And then we want to say if uh, they are as big as zero, then we want to increment the uh, uh, rotation, of course. So then we say, uh, then we just want to return r plus one modulus uh, l, of course. Else we want to return. Uh, what do you say? We want to check if uh, r minus 1 is greater or equal to 0. Uh, then we want to return r minus 1. Else we want to return l minus 1. To like wrap it around. You can think about that by yourself, but that will give us the, the rotation we're after. Yeah, so that's cool. So when we have done that, we just want to calculate some values. So we say for this or x equals uh, this or x plus dx. Uh, y is equals this dot y plus dy. Width equals uh, controls uh, control at length. Sorry. And the height is equal to the control at i dot length uh, <laughs> at zero dot length, like that. Then we just loop draw the shape again, so we can just copy this thing here. And instead of uh, setting the type of the control, here we want to say check if the X position is outside of the canvas or, uh, or the block uh, or the control at the x at that position uh, if that is uh, solid and if it is then we just want to return false so that means we can't make the move anyway and down here we just want to return true because that means that we can make the move anyway so the, the check we want to do here is check if x is uh, plus if the current uh, x value, so x plus i, uh, if that's between, uh, what do you say, the width, uh, yeah, zero and the width of the thing, and the y position, uh, it's the same thing as y plus uh, j, the c here, and uh, y plus j, smaller than the height and then just an all there 
search a bit for the check function. So let's see. Uh, so let's make use of it. So let's go to reset here. And then instead of uh, well, tet there, we can say it is dot tetramino. Or we can say current is equals to this stuff. that and then in the update function let's just create a frames so we say this are frames one and here we say if uh, frames plus plus model is uh, let's say 40 maybe or 20 if that's equal to zero and we just want to move the uh, piece down, so you say uh, this start move down like that. So let's implement that method. We say move down. So here we just want to say uh, make reference to the block control and the current tetramino. So you say this start current tetramino like that. Then here we want to say if cd dot uh, check. Uh, the block control uh, zero one because we want to go one down then we just want to add to the wipe position so let's see here if that works so the piece should now be moving down hopefully well we got some arrows here so Tetris 37 well two equal signs <laughs> unexpected identifier 110 in the tetramino that probably means that we have forgot a comma sign there. Yep, shape is not defined. 84. Oh, uh, here of course we also want to set a the shape. Uh, so we say shape equals this uh, shapes at the R of course. Yeah, it almost work is working. Mm, 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 let's see here. Why isn't it moving? Let's see. I'll just debug that, guys. Be right back. Oh, sorry. I'm so stupid. Uh, we uh, will need to uh, remove the tetramino else it will uh, sort of like uh, hit uh, itself here so you say this dot current tetramino dot set to uh, this dot block control uh, and won't set to uh, none like that and then we won't set it back so let's see now yeah, now it's a piece moving about. So let's see when it hit the bottom, 